All right, things are starting to wrap up. Garden 2023. <clears throat> it's been an incredible year. I still have a lot going on, though. Um, here's my corn. Gave me a bunch of ears, probably 20 ears or more. Um, I knocked it down because of the shading out the peppers with the um, getting later in the year. This is the first week of first week of September. Um, sun's getting lower, but you can see I still had some here. It just got corned out. Let's see how this looks. Yeah, Look I could still eat that. Anyway, kind of wasteful, but not really. We ate, we had ate a bunch. Um, the peppers, absolutely phenomenal this year. Unbelievable. They got so huge. Giant bell peppers and all the plants. We'll come over here and look at a couple. If I can keep them shaking around everywhere. Look at all those peppers. They're giant. Okay. And moving on over here. So the onions cured. I got them boxed. Um, no exaggeration. I got about 60 pounds. So right now, here's some... I don't know if you can see them because of the sun. Yeah, there's one. Well, there, well, there's a whole bunch in there. Tons of them, actually. Look over here. They're my jalapenos. You can see I'm picking some. I'm going to uh, start experimenting making hot sauce. And the tomatoes. Absolutely incredible. Got some giant ones in. I got one that weighed one pound, seven ounces. You can see here. I just let those go to waste. Um, Romas didn't do that great. Um, they produced, but I, my slicers, on the other hand, over here, holy smokes. Did I get slicers? Probably another 50 pounds, easy. They're still coming. Let's see if I can pull one out of here. there so yeah they're still producing the boy did I get a bunch of them here's some more beautiful uh, bells as you can see in there look at that it's all over it's huge Ooh, oh no that's, that's okay that's the bottom of the bell pepper <laughs> Okay, and let's see. So I've been getting, um, I've been getting, let's see, cantaloupe. See, the plants are starting to expire, but there's a cantaloupe. I've already picked about five of them. There's a couple more over here. There's one. There's one. And there's one. Okay. Coming over here. Believe it or not, the cucumber is still giving me cukes. They're, you know, the main plant looks terrible, right? And then you got these branches coming off it, these vines that are still producing. Okay. And let's see, I got a couple watermelon. There's another view of those cantaloupe. Got three watermelon there. I think that middle one might be ready. And coming over here. My uh, summer squash is actually still producing. We've got a lot of those this year. So that's it. Um, got a lot of prep to do, and those I'm gonna let those bells probably go another week. Getting sliced up and froze. Um, yeah, that's about it. Uh, 2023 has been a phenomenal year, one for the record books for sure. Uh, you can see my hot peppers. They still got a ways to go. 
Let's see, let's see if we can get one without shading out. There's one right there. They still got um, a ways to go. Hopefully they ripen up before our first frost hits, which um, I don't know, it could be as early as three weeks now. But, uh, I mean, they're hotter than hell, so they'll probably still be nice and hot green. Okay, so that's it. Um, still gonna be working on getting chickens. Uh, I gotta get a gate, I gotta get a fence in to keep him out. That guy right there. He got a squirrel the other day. Yeah, squirrel came under the fence. Dog took after it. Squirrel couldn't figure out how to get back out under the fence, and Sissy nails him. Got him. But that's what they're bred for. Okay, there'll probably be a couple more videos when I take the garden down and show you what I do for my prep for next year.